Hello and welcome to the next race in the K5 Championship. We are at Rockingham and we're heading out for qualifying. I'm very scared for this one, to be honest. A lot that can go wrong during these Q laps, so uh, I'm probably going to have to be silent here for a little bit. So bear with me. Green flag, green flag. Okay, here comes your first time black. I like the high line in one and two. That's a new fastest lap for Moody, 24.1. Loose. One more lap. Oh, this is scary. Last lap. Do a little higher this time. Mm. <sighs> yeah, no highlight didn't work there. I guess I'm okay with that. Track felt tighter right there than it had been. I was so scared. I was more scared than I've ever been during these knockout qualifying sessions, and I've been scared every time. <laughs> but my heart was pounding because there's so many things that can go wrong here. You can hit the wall, you can get major loose on exit. Yeah, you, know, you can overdrive it. Plus, just heading into the lap. You don't know exactly how the track's gonna carry you. I figured it would probably be a little bit tighter, so I was kind of easy on it. And I think it worked out. Looks like we're gonna make it. I don't know, I didn't really look how many people showed up. How many people will likely be going home, but um, we are looking okay in eighth for now. We'll do a practice. Pit entry. Did this a number of times. It looks like we'll be okay. Um. <laughs> How'd Kyle do? Kyle looks like he's probably going to be in the show. So he's got a nice lap in the race. Justin, did he make it? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Yeah. Good. Might be scary out there. That's what I was going to say. Going to go low and mind his, mind his own business, <laughs> Kyle says. Um, yeah, it's going to be... Uh... JP, that is a hell of a lot. That's all. Thank you. I was afraid Mark was going to beat me. He uh, just beat me the race before. We have an idea. In a practice session right before this, um, I managed to get an 07, um, but, but I just couldn't get to that. Why is it dark? <laughs> what happened there? Changed my qualifying position. I mean, but <laughs> so what I was saying to him was, uh, yeah, I like 12 to one, even though you know it's a bit of a risk of turning the wheel too much, but I keep that in mind and so I'm using the brake and the throttle to get the car turned and turn the wheel as little as possible 
Um, really, at the end of the day, steering ratio is all just about personal preference because you can have it 16 to 1 and still crank the wheel way too hard left and right. Um, and you can have it 8 to 1, and if you're really disciplined about not turning the wheel, keeping it very steady, then you can save your tires better than the person on 16 to 1. It's a good, it can be helpful to have it higher so you can prevent yourself from turning the wheel too much. But uh, I've kind of settled into 12 to 1 over time, and I use that for basically every, every track now. And I just make sure I keep in mind that I'm using my brakes and my throttle to get the car turned. I don't know if this, like, didn't send to him. I don't, I don't know. Is that why it's one, but I can't hear faded it. like that? I've never seen that before. Anyway, we got some really fast guys up there in the 24 O's. I don't know how they really could have... I don't know how they hit that um, with the track as tight as it felt. But uh, I'm okay with where I ended up here in 8th. We'll be on the outside to start. Um, I'm gonna ask Kyle. Oops, that's sad. Okay, Colton, be ready. Green flag. Green flag. One gallon remaining. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. What is going on? Is my internet going bad? What is happening? Why does it look like that? Not send it twice? What is going on? Looks like my connection should be okay. Is Kyle's connection okay? Where's Kyle? Where'd you come? There he is. Nice I don't know what's going on with that. I'm sorry, Kyle. I tried responding. I don't know what's happening. Hold on just one second. I'm gonna be right back. All right. Uh, okay, I'm back. I don't know what's going on. My chat just randomly got disabled or something. I don't know. It's really strange, but I gotta hop in the car here real soon. I have no idea what's going on. I'm gonna see if the voice chat's still working. I found it was like closer to 85, but if you say it, maybe. Pit road is closed right now. We need to follow car number zero four in the inside column. Hmm. Something weird's going on with my um, my PMs and my text chat it's grayed out and can you still hear me on here yeah we can hear you that's weird i can't respond to any uh direct messages or anything just so everybody knows i don't know what's going on i have that happen to me after one of these neat rates like the late models i, I never did figure out what the problem was All right, well, that's weird. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't cause any problems. At least my voice chat's working. That's a nice relief. But, uh, all right. <laughs> I gotta get ready, because we're gonna go. Get ready. Going green. Here we go. Ice car is in. Green, green, green. Well, car inside, clear inside. Outside, clear outside. So it's all about tire saving here. I'm just going to assume we're going to go long run until we don't. And uh, let people buy if I need to. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure what's going on up there. Man, I 
think I'm trying to take over Gavin's role here, rub, rubbing the wall. The leader's just done it, 24.8. Do that really be enough for him? Oh no, that's just something I did all on my own. Inside. Get around Clear Jeremy here. Alright. Clear inside. Alright. Oh man, I'm so nervous. This is a, such a treacherous track. I really want to get into tire saving mode here soon. I mean, I'm already trying to be good on the tires, but I really need to get into a rhythm. Trying to be on the right rear. Oh man, I'm all just, I'm all kinds of discombobulated. <laughs> so, text chat's not working right for some reason. Um, I'll fight eighth. Very nervous. But uh, I think I, I feel pretty good long run. I did a 46 lap practice run at race pace before jumping in here. And at the end of it, I was at 81.80, which I was very happy with. So... I think if I can keep that up, I should be able to avoid falling off all too much. And hopefully have ourselves a good finish here today. We got JP up in first. He's looking really good. He qualified first as well. So he's going to be a very strong contender in this one. Not sure where Nick ended up. I never really got to look at some other people's qualifying spots because of everything I was trying to figure out um, with the voice chat and everything and text chat. But just running laps here, I don't feel like I'm overdriving it and yet we got a nice gap behind which is making me feel pretty good. Mitch right here in front of us. Uh, Mark up there in second, Mark Gonzalez. He, uh, I was in a race with him and Justin Yee. Uh, oh, I did upload that one. Okay, I was trying to think. I was like, I didn't think I uploaded that one at first, but I did. And uh, he won that race. He was very fast, so he's going to be really good too. Um, he and Justin Yee had a nice battle, and I came in third or fourth in that one, I've, I remember correctly. And that was my first race of the week, so I, I was still learning. David behind us there. He's always going to be fast. We're green still, by the way, which is so fantastic. I'm really hoping this race beats expectation. Nick seemed convinced it was going to be a wreck fest. Um, And the you know, practice beforehand was not very inspiring. The, uh, like, little practice before no, no, bottom path, uh, qualifying because there are people sliding everywhere. But we are green for now, and I really hope it stays that way for as long as possible. We've got 150 laps to do here today. Looks like we'll be able to make it to halfway. My goal is to keep it low. Don't do that push up in one and two. There's some smoke. Oh, that's Mark. That is a position. Wonder if he just got loose or if there was some help there. That's very interesting. Of caution, he kept it straight. That's going to be killer to him. All right. That'll put us in six. Hey, thanks, Mark. No problem. Feeling good on pace still. Who's up there in first? Driving away. That's JP. JP's looking really good. Um, we'll see if his long run pace is just as good, but... He seems to be having a, a nice time of it right now. Your last lap time was Looking to make up some ground on both Nick and Gavin in the championships. I am currently in third behind them. Oh, there's some wall up there for Wesley. That's just some good luck wall from the uh, 
Gavin Walter Wynn School of Sim Racing. <laughs> so he's probably going to go win the thing now. So that's how it works. Mitch sideways. Didn't seem like he lost too much time though. Gotta make sure I'm hitting my marks. And I don't mean like any of the marks in the race. I don't want to hit them. I want to hit <laughs> my line. But. Hmm. Gosh, I'm so nervous. My heart is really beating. Yeah, Mark, I'm not gonna fight you. This is a tough, tough drive. I'm just gonna try to keep that uh, session last lap as consistent as possible. We got some space Robin, growing behind us at the moment. Oh my god, imagine if this went green all the way. I would be so happy, so proud of everybody. <laughs> Including myself for not wrecking. So I was secretly hoping this would be much better than expected, but knew better than to expect it. But let me not get in over my head. We are only on lap 18. But no immediate caution, which is great. That was a bad corner. I got a little too low. You've just done a 25.4. This track is so fun when you get to do the long runs. I gotta get my consistency up a little bit here. You can see, like, messing up the exit last lap lost me about a tenth. You've just done a 25.3. Mark's making his way back forward after having that moment. Let's see, we have three sets of tires. So we'll have to keep that in mind if we ever have to make a decision to use them or not. We got someone going to the high line. That's a lot of fun to run, but I don't know if that's going to help his tires very much. I can see maybe working it up there later. When you're ready to use up the rest of the tires, maybe before a pit stop or something, or maybe making a pass up there. But I'm going to stay on down here. I'm going to hope this takes me somewhere nice. Which might have gotten the wall there. One point five. Back to the forty eight. the banking carry me as much as possible trusting it to pull me around the corner so that way I can use less steering wheel and be less bad on the right front we're pretty much just holding even right now though I might have actually just lost a little bit I hope I'll be okay on tires feeling pretty good about my long run pace but uh, that doesn't mean I'm actually going to be good <laughs> Time was at 25.4. Right. They're getting some massive runs off there. That time, unless that was uh, prediction code, which did get into the wall on entry. Car definitely does feel tighter than the 46 lap run I did. Gonzalez is really new in. The gap's now. Gonzalez is reeling me in. I'm getting major loose. Wow, okay, that was really bad. That lost me so much time. 
Never do that again. Watch behind me because I think he's going to be able to pass me pretty easy. Inside. Man, that slide was terrible. I can't do that anymore. Clear inside. I'm not trying to over overtake him or anything, do the crossover. I'm just trying to take my line the best I can while letting him go. You just got the wall on entry? <laughs> no, I just got the wall on entry. Maybe the tires will be okay doing that line. I just, I don't know, man. I don't trust it to stay good for long enough. You can just see the huge run they get off of the corners, though. Well, that was a 3.7. Got to get some of the consistency back. Takes a little bit of time for the tires to really, really start showing up. So I'm gonna trust in my method here. Trust that I'm getting on the right rear enough. Almost came up and hit the wall for no reason there. I am. Um, <laughs> I just need to focus up here. I'm not exactly happy with how I'm driving right now. I think that weird <laughs> start kind of got me all messed up. I hope I remember to hit the point again. Oh, gosh. <sighs> We're under caution. Pits are closed. Is it a big one? Seems like it went slowing down a lot. Okay. Deep roads open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. 28.9. Disregard that message. So, I've got to come in here. Come back. Sorry, we had to stop because the the lapper was backing in the people. Wow, well, the guy that's fun. The leader, Phillips, is pitting. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Pit lane speed limit is 40. Okay, miles don't speed on the pit road. <laughs> we think we'll need to stop again. The pit box team, 10. 5. 3. 2. One, right here. Eighty-seven, eighty-six. Okay, I guess I was doing okay. Move it, move it. Line up, single file. Almost sped. <laughs> James had a bad stop. He might have slid past his box or something. So 87, 86. Okay, kind of comparing the other guys. I'm happy with that so long as the right rear is more worn than the right front. I just need to take a moment to breathe. Just warning everybody, I did not take tires. Is Jeremy in front of the field? Having not taken there. Captain Jasper, Jeremy. I just hope he's careful. If I'm gonna, I, don't know, I felt like saving that that was was gonna be important. I I may be wrong. Maybe a complete wrong call. I just feel like if I'm gonna not take tires, I go to the back I of the field. I did not take a set. Anyone lining up behind me? If you want around me, uh, I ain't gonna fight for it. So that is such a scary place to be in. Yeah, I didn't take a set either. I mean, it works out for you if you get another caution before you get last. It also only works out for me if I don't spin out in front of the whole field. <laughs> That's true. 
I am the control car at the moment, so. I hope he's very careful on throttle because I think it could definitely have some tire spin. You're gonna want to short shift. Yeah, I was, oh. yeah I'm, I'm restarting in second. There's no way in hell I'm restarting at first. One left to green. Okay, Colton. You'll be yeah. lining up for some <laughs> He's restarting in second gear. He's gonna launch a little slow as well. This is gonna be kind of scary. I can't trust Race Lab to give me accurate fuel estimates. It's looking like we're actually pretty close on fuel. I should have been saving that whole time. I just, I am not as focused as I need to be. The whole start got me all kinds of like a loopy. What's supposed to be the better line here? Low line or a high line? High line is faster, low line is better at saving tires if you do it right. Looking like we're giving extra space. Well, I can't figure out the bottom line. I don't know what I Jeremy up there. Get ready, going green. I guess I understand that. The pace car is in. Green, green flag. flag, green flag. Good save there, 07. Keep I'm not going to fight you guys. Car outside. Why are we driving in so hard? Keep low. Goodness. That guy's there. flying around our outside. Outside, clear. This is scary. That's why. Jeez, Outside, clear. Car outside. This is crazy. Still there. I do not feel safe at clear all. High. I want to get away from that. I can't afford to get wrecked out. Not with a championship like this. Yeah, three wide coming out too. Real smart people. Clear if you want to. You're the one on old tires, dude. Okay, but there's still over a hundred laps left in this race, so making it three wide to try and pass me is better to just back off. Like, I'm letting you guys by. I'm not fighting you. Hard enough to make it off turn two too wide. You know, I'm not even one of the people that took him three wide. <sighs> I don't know. I should keep my mouth shut, honestly. But when I get stressed, <laughs> I get grumpy. <laughs> grumpy. So, I'm sorry. I think if you if you're gonna save a set of tires like that, they'll just go back. Doing what you, what Nick, what Wesley did. This is just pure survival oh, mode race right here. Oh, didn't you uh, Monday night hit him off the corner too? Uh the night I was a wrecking ball. Inside. It's gonna get loose. Come up and almost hit me, it sounds like. Could be wrong, but it sure sounded like. Thank you to everybody who stayed off of me when I got almost turned. And we're trying to save it. Oh boy. Phillips is now laying. I said off you till I got hit from behind. Just being consistent. I appreciate that. Like, yeah. Just trying to stay off of me where 
you know, someone just drove through me. You were wobbling there for quite a while. Yeah, trying to save it, because it kept, every time I would turn it one way, it'd come back the other way. I was off the throttle. Okay, so we are approaching a third of the way through this race. It's flying by, really, with just the one caution so far. I lost a lot of time just backing off there because I was afraid to be around anybody, but I, I got to not get wrecked out. So... There's still a lot of time. It's fuel estimated. 80? Yeah, we're gonna have to pit again. Seems like we're getting good rotation through the corner. I think I'm good. Doing well with the tires. So I'm not concerned about that. Looks like we might have some side-by-side -side up ahead. I guess Justin got into that first wreck. I thought I saw him on pit road. I didn't say anything because I... There's so much happening at once, but that sucks. At least he'll get to get to <laughs> go to sleep. <laughs> He's he has to wake up at like 2 a.m. or something like that, and he comes to these races that last till what like eight past eight and stuff. <laughs> He's a he's a real soldier for coming in anyway to join these races, so. He'll, uh, at the very least, be able to get some rest. That sucks, though. At least we're for him to do well. Just trying to hit consistent laps, though. We'll see if we can catch back up once the tires are better. I feel like guys were driving pretty hard at the start of that run. Everybody everywhere though. <laughs> They're like at every lane of the track. I think we're reeling these guys in though, but that might just be because they're uh, battling each other. Got lowercase Brian behind us still. No point burning our stuff up. Lap traffic. A little lower on the track than I normally like to take it there, but still worked out okay. Approaching Wallace, or rather Landon. You need to get in the habit of saying Moody. <laughs> That's always correct. He's got a different paint scheme, I think. He's not only got that white monster energy car. Looks like we're reeling him in. He must have been a little harder on his tires. Getting a little bit tighter, but 
Nothing too unmanageable. Still feels pretty good. Hopefully we can get around without much issue. I am on your inside, dude. I don't know why he's turning in on me. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Still there. Hold your line. Sorry. Clear outside if you want it. Eighth place. That last light was at twenty-six point two. Got loose. Pinched me so hard there. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Still there, hold your line. You can take it in the one if you want. Still inside. Oh. Clear. Don't feel like I'm slower than lowercase Ryan. I just made a hey, mistake, man, so I'm gonna to keep that. going. I think I'm overdriving oh, everything behind me, so this helps me too. <laughs> Time was 25.5. Oh god. I'm racing terribly right now. The lap time was at 25.4. feel lightheaded. I just was not prepared for this race, I feel like. Not in terms of like practice. I did lots of practice, but it's not in the right mental state or something. I don't know. I'm still doing okay. I'm an eighth, but making stupid mistakes. P8. This is so difficult. Traffic again. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car Completely the ruined my corner. So just backing off mid corner. Why he wouldn't just let me by there? You don't want to exit turn two here side by side if you can avoid it. It's like Darlington, pretty much. I left him space. <sighs> Your last lap time was at 25.6. Still just one caution though, that's pretty incredible. So we came into pit lap 33. About 50 minus 33. Another guy just collapsed backing off. That's my fault, somehow. Thank you, guys. No problem. Not that was at 25.7. So back to field calculation, 150 minus 33, so you get 117, 
Halfway 117. I can't do math with driving, man. 58. I'll do lap. Sorry, great bad cat needed. Oh, good. Coming at 91. Didn't mean to scare you. Getting tight. I, I ruined the car. I did not say well enough to run. I'm so mad at myself. I know I can do better than this. Oh. That was a 25.8. Thanks, Jeremy. Saving a set of tires. Being a little unpredictable up ahead. Car outside. Keep messing up because I'm trying to go low. Outside is clear. Outside. Gap in front is increasing. It's Keep low. Still there. Hold your line. Clear outside. Gosh, what a struggle. Sorry, there's that. The gap behind has increased to 1.0. Looks like we might be gaining on Gavin up ahead, whether that's because of the traffic around him or not, or whatever's going on. I don't know. Your lap time was 25.9. The traffic coming out of the pits right in front of us. Traffic car inside coming up on halfway here. Keep high. Back off. There, like, what are you doing? Clear. Come on, man. I'm sorry. I'm just really stressed out right now. I know they're trying their best. But... Oh boy, I need to just stop talking. I didn't know I was so grumpy today, apparently. Just lost two tenths to Gavin ahead. You That's what lap traffic's gonna be. That's what you gotta be ready for. It happens to everybody. Everyone's gotta get by. They didn't expect you to go through by <laughs> Hmm. At least we're not falling off super hard or anything. Looks like lowercase Ryan we're actually pulling away from. Sorry, Nick, I had to avoid that guy. Pick up behind us now. Don't oh. Lisa on exit of two there. I stink. I'll stay low, Mitch. Thanks. If I can get a top 10 here, I think I just got to be happy with that. Trying 
traffic gets wall on entry. So much time lost. You've used half your fuel. Maybe it's harder than I think to be a lap car here. I don't know if I've ever been put in that position. You've just done that. Just had good luck in these races, I guess, not to be put into bad situations like that. Hmm. <sighs> Take it inside, Gavin. 91, still a goal. Very good race, though, so far, let me be clear. 86 fitting out, 86 fitting out. Back, Sam. I am just way too anxiety filled. <laughs> to be too, uh, uh, too uh, optimistic right now. I'm like stuttering nervous. This gives me the short track nervousness. You know, it's really fun when these things start handling like crap. Why is no one backing off? Why? Why would you do that? <sighs> I don't understand. Like, just let go of the guys for a moment. We can really help people out, you know. I don't, know. I don't think anybody's lifted up for us yet. So I'm gonna start going a little bit harder since we're gonna come in and get tires soon. Three, coming back on the track. Hey now, what are you doing? You just brake checking me? High line here should be faster. Let's see what the high line does in front no, one and two. Yeah, my car is damaged. I'm just trying to run my line. I got run into the wall back there. Using the tires out. Tires. We're, we're past the lap car on the outside and decided to go three wide middle between me and the lap car. See all the green we're getting. Front lap time was 25.9. Whew. I need to remember to breathe. Whew. Is a car leaving the pits? That was less of a good corner. I don't know what happened there. Probably the tires giving up. That last lap was a 26.0. And the laps are looking compared to the low side. Jeremy's coming up. Uh, 48 pitting. I'm going to give it to him here. Clear inside. Gap behind is now 1.5. Oh, apparently he wants the high man. Miss you. I'm sorry. 37 pitting. 
everyone else has got uh, the same math as I did, I think. Pitting in here. Fuel towers. Didn't hear Gavin. Go ahead, Ryan. Hitting this time, 84. This time by. 5. D come from. 4 pitting, 4 3, 2, 1. 82 right pitting. Here. 82 pitting. 70. Terrible. I don't have time to do typing. Get going. Hmm. <sighs> well, we'll see how this cycles out. Don't loop it. Yeah, you got to remember how loose it is. Okay, Colton. As a car tires. Oh, we're overtaking some guys. Is that just one lap of undercut that did that much? You're in the top ten. You've just done a twenty-four point nine. I don't know. The lead is fitting now. Kurnowski is now in the lead. Outside. Clear. All right. Well, we've got about what is that? 56 laps to go, so we still have to be somewhat nice to it. Car outside. Didn't want to do that, but he's 15 miles an hour off the pace on old tires. It's like there's just. You can't just sit and wait for someone. I know Jeremy was not happy that they took him three wide there, but you, you can't sit there and wait for someone that long. This is a track where tires are way too important. It's way too big of a time difference to just sit there and wait. There's a lot of race left, yeah, but you don't get that time you lost back at any point if it goes green like this. I just I understand his frustration there, but he made the choice to stay out. And he not only made the choice to save a set of tires, but to start in front of the field, which I just don't think is the right decision. Like, if you're saving a set of tires, you're knowing that you're going to be much slower than everybody else and that you just need timely cautions. So I think you just you have to, have to get into the back. Or you're going to be put three wide, you're going to be run over, and you can't be surprised when that happens. So... Sorry, I know I was rude there about all that, but you have to expect that, I think. Anyway, that's my explanation for that. Thank you. James behind us, coming up. Your lap time was 24.8. I just, I feel like I have no turn in the car. Alright, Colton, break by us all the way back. Pass this guy to get the lucky dog position. Seventh position. That was a 25.1. People still out? Mitch, 11 seconds away. <sighs> You've just done a 24.9. Don't have a lot of traffic. 
Gotta get by him. Outside. Go low. Outside is clear. Oh boy. Lap traffic has been huge this race. It's such a big factor. Having to set up passes with lap traffic like I do on lead lap, guys. going on up there. Mitch way off the pace. Oh, he's still out. Trying to get a caution, I guess. Oh, we're in the lead lap now, though. So that's good. Whoa, that goes. Caution. Yellow flag. Well, I'm glad we got back in the lead lap. Single file behind car 75. Pace car is out. It's It is Kyle. Oh, is that not that Kyle? It's second Zero place, Zach. Four course yellow. It's our open. I think we have to go around one more time. Chat muted. Okay. That was pretty quiet. I think everyone's super intense. Also. Also stressed. Come on, let's get caught up. Car 05, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. So, uh, staying out on that first one was the wrong call? You're not staying. Watch your speed limit in the pits. I think this was the time to come in, right? Call. We need to stop again. I uh, should have had more faith in this field to stay clean. Uh, I just assume it's rocking again. We have another wreck. Five, three, two, one. Right here. That was a really fun long run. Yeah, 97, 96. Have to take tires though, I think. This really is going to make the field look weird. The leader, Nelson, is pitting. Oh my god! Full course yellow, pits are open. Why is Mitch sideways? <laughs> Sorry, I had to apply for a fire and get a black flag. What is going on? Oh my goodness. Well, everyone's getting black flag cleared. So who even knows what's going on out here? Passing lap traffic. Uh, will we get the wave around or...? Yep. A lot of guys getting wave around. Wesley's gonna be in first. We're gonna be in fifth, I think. Well, we better book it. No, we don't miss by after spinning out. under caution yep. somehow. <laughs> That's the plan. All right, weird. Okay, Colton, we're but don't home. We estimate 37 minutes of fuel left. One to go. Nick, get on by. No idea where, what Nick's race is looking like at the moment. He's okay. He's in ninth, I guess. Sixth place. <laughs> okay. David, I need I you need to come you up, come here, up as here as quick as you can, so I don't get a penalty. Yeah, I'm yeah, coming. I'm I just came off pit road. Oh, okay. <laughs> I knew that. I, I was just like making sure that you knew. Am I the only one that came I in? <laughs> I'm the. F 
me and Mitch, the yeah, you guys only guys that came in. Yeah, you guys are all flying by me, so I was actually that I'm coming. Or the first two guys I came in, I mean. About to go green, stay focused. We're hoping this goes green to the end or something. Or that we uh, sorry, don't sorry, get a sorry. badly timed caution. Post car is off, time to do your job. Yo, no, let's buy on the high line when we get restarted. Green flag, green flag. Okay. Telling me to let cars by. I'm sorry, it was kind of a mess there. What's that? You had you had to pass me. Lots of guys yeah, having I, lots I'm of sorry. issues. I don't know. Everyone was all bunched together. The 23 was trying to tell me to come around him as quick as possible. So I was trying to get up there, and then once I started passing people, it told me to let people by. I didn't so we have a tire advantage right now. I want to try to get track position. Help out. Still have some time left though, so I can't be too crazy on the tires. This is a weird spot to be in. I'm getting sideways. I saved. Still there at the bottom. The whole thing was a mess. I mean, I know you didn't have nothing to do that day, but God. The time was at 24. Go inside. Go Getting boxed in. Inside. Inside. You're in the middle. Three wide. Still there. Still there. Clear outside. Two wide. Clear. Oh my gosh, what a mess. 82, you went for a massive blink back there. Oh wow, okay, sorry, I didn't. Let me know if this keeps up, man. I couldn't even tell. This is intense. I got you, bro, no worries. Appreciate it. I don't know if I'm fine now, but it was a major lag spike for a second. <sighs> yeah, I hope that's the last of it. Battling for the lead in front of us. Mark is on good tires. I don't need to pass right away. Oh my goodness, they're being so much more aggressive <laughs> than I would want to see in front of me. Just down here like I have been. Sorry, JT, I thought you were just going to shoot for the top. Driver in front of us, Clear up the tops. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside. Clear him. Your P2. Working back, working back, working back, working back. Don't. Oh, no fucking caution? Come on, no caution. We don't need a caution. They're off the track. Okay, and you're in P2. In front of Sorry about that, man. I was up against the wall. I didn't know where to go. Why is he stopped? Oh, uh, yeah. I thought we were going to get a caution because that guy was stopped. Check up, bro. 
Wasn't even on the lead lap. Your last lap time was at 24.9. Seeing guys stopped on the track and it's scaring me. Inside, just keep hitting your mask. Leslie, don't follow Gavin, you know he's going to do that. Stay high. Inside, just keep hitting your mask. First time I did it all day, though. Car inside. I'm just messing with you, man. Clear. <laughs> Car Shoot. inside. Got loose. Oh, I'm All driving right. terrible today. It was like my third down. Clear inside. Car inside. Yeah, I did it all down the back stretch earlier. Stay high. Stay high. Sorry about that, Wallace. Clear. Car inside. Hey, Tommy, Chris. Still there. Hold your line. Yeah, that was what I had helped him through the apron. Not letting him pass oh, me. That happened to me. 89 gave me a penalty and then I spent off pit road like an idiot. Yeah, definitely wasn't trying to do that. My apologies. The 89, not you. Yeah, just all the clumber. I mean, he had to let people go by, and I had to be ahead of him. I don't know. D two. Did happen, right? Clear inside. Not getting past me. I'm sorry. I don't know if we're gonna be able to catch up to Mark, but P two right now is feeling pretty good. Oh, leader in the wall. That's not going to help him. You know, making having issues up there. Making having issues. He's having all kinds of issues. What is happening? He's still over a second ahead, so... <sighs> My hands hurt. <laughs> I feel like I'm driving way too hard here, but I'm just I hoping these laps really click hard. down really fast. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Still there at the bottom. Clear. That lap was out. Car right. inside. Stay high. Clear. <laughs> Get out of the way. Thank you. I know it's hard for him. Uh, watching us do both lanes behind him. Am I catching the leader? Probably not. Leader, having trouble. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, just get the get the end of this thing here as soon as possible. He's got it. They're really so fast to lay green, but high racing is not consistent. Outside, clear. Go ahead, bro. Can't block him. Still there. I mean, I know you could, I mean, I know that you didn't try to do that on purpose. The way the wave around guys work. Clear high. Yeah, no, I certainly didn't try to do it on purpose. I, it just, it kind of got messy there with the wave around, and I was coming off pit road as you guys were like flying by on the track, and then it, I think it just tried to put me like in the middle of oh, you guys. Okay. Looks like we might be okay for a top four yeah, still, I, though. I don't know. Not much we can do now. I mean, it was either I get a penalty or I'm getting too get a penalty, close to the apron there. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm going to pass out again. I've fallen off hard. The gap in front is now I was just hoping that I could hold on long enough to get a good finish, and I think I should be able to do that here. Coming up to, what is that, 14 to go? Here, if you need if I could have the top, that'd be helpful. Yeah, I was trying to, to drive the, the top to not let you buy me. Um, <laughs> I made a, another play to, to get back to the lead lap. And, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Jeremy admitting to blocking the leader, I guess. Thank you. Trying to keep his lap. I don't know about that. That was a point by protect. We're losing track of the top three guys, but we're holding for the most part steady. So the guy's behind, so. At least there's that. P4 would be great. What we got down there? Is that, oh, that's, okay, that's Jeremy. Yeah, thanks, Jeremy. Oh, no problem. All three laps holding you guys up isn't going to do anything. <sighs> Robert, you're blanking all over the place, I am. Nelson, behind is now 1.8 seconds. Well, if I can finish here. Then. I can finish ahead of Nick and Gavin, get some points. I don't know what happened to Gavin. Nick's ahead of him now, though. Still holding 1.8 behind us. Great job, game to go. I'll stay low. Oh, that wreck and mark, wreck and wreck. No, no! Line up, single file. Pit road is closed right now. Screwed. Well, I'll try everything I could to get you, Tracy. Leather, 29. That cable got in the way when the yellow flag came out. This will be good content. Race cars out. Line up, single file. Behind cars. That came about, like. Four laps. Jetstar 23, car left up 29. Jetstar 23, car. Sorry, I got too tight on it too and put it in the wall. This is bad. Pete Road is now open. So screwed. People I have set are on the lead lap. Marcus is about to lap me, and uh, they were 
got around in front of us. That was close. So bad. Car three, got the lucky dog, let them past on the outside. Outside, coming through. Let us three, carbine. So, I'm just so done for. This is so bad. We just, we're screwed. If I wasn't nervous enough already. It's are open. Come on, tires, cool down as much as possible. I don't know if my chat is working still. Nine seconds, got you ahead of me, dude. Freaking pass out, man. I just, I, I gotta try to hold a line. I don't know, man. One to go, next time by. Okay, Line Colton, up on the inside. On every man. This lap. <laughs> Having PTSD flashbacks here. <laughs> Careful on this restart, guys. The top four does not have a set of tires left, so they're going to be on the old tires. Yep, it's real bad. Oh my god. The only thing we can hope for is quick cautions. I mean, we got green white checkers, though. It's like, this is. I'm so scared. Is the pace car just blinking for anyone else? No, the pace car just blinking. Dude. Ah, <sighs> oh, eighty six. I'm out. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Back in third. Keep hustling. Five laps to go. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Still hold. Outside, too wide. Good, You're on the bottom, nine, three really wide. Right Car outside, too wide. Clear outside, too wide. You're in the middle, three wide. Car outside, too wide. Outside, too wide. Keep low. Outside is clear. Jesus Christ. P12. Yellow flag, line up, single file, closed, pit road is closed. Sorry, sorry, Gavin, I didn't know we were through wide. I had the position when the yellow flag came out. No, you're good, there's no contact. I really like getting wrecked after the cost comes out. This sucks. Yeah, that was on me, guys, I just spun it. Sorry. I was worried about doing that exact thing, it's so easy. Open. Full course yellow, pits are open. 
Why is it telling me to stay behind me? But any of you guys up there take only right side or it's about four. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I'm guessing that means all four. Alright. Well, the top four didn't hit that last time because they didn't have a set left, and I can imagine everyone else did four. Right, yeah, I had, uh, I got screwed over because there was like a wreck and I had to basically spot, so I, there was no caution, so I went up to. I really hope this race doesn't devolve into like 30 green white checkers after it was a decent race. And it kind of actually helped right there, I'm not gonna lie. Anyone know how many attempts we do this? I know Nick can't hear it. I think I it's think unlimited. It's unlimited. I, think. I think. Yeah, it's yeah, unlimited. It's it would give you a counter on the green uh, white checker thing. We might have 28 minutes of green white checkers left. I'm not surprised there is any green white checkers in this thing. thing. <laughs> That's why I just want to see the checker flag and get out of this piece of racing. It's I know how you feel, Hinden. Yeah. yeah. Nothing no, went right, right for me at all. Is this Man, single I was, file, uh, I wonder? I, I, I was... I, I, I can't even talk. Hang on. Nah, it's alright. I mean, at point, it's like a stupid thing worst. I was the, um, writer of my own demise by not hitting early, so... Yeah, I was wondering if you... I thought you took two rides like I did. No, I was coming to the, to the pit. I was coming to the pits, and I'm like... I feel like I shouldn't take tires. Like, it was just this gut feeling, and I'm just like, man, I'm not gonna take tires, so I drove by my pistol, and yeah, that was... Yeah, uh, lesson <laughs> one, don't uh, do that here at Rockingham. And uh, number two, just, yeah, right front is everything. I have to start in second gear this time. I, I, still lost brain cells I tried my best, I just could not start in first gear, down, even okay. with partial throttle. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't show up for that. Yeah, just yeah, be glad you did. I mean, I. I to be fair, I probably should have not won with caution kept failing me out. One left to green. We're going green. You're on the outside this time. Yeah, well, how did you two ladies have hold up that for like five laps? Yeah, two right didn't work. 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 Yeah, couldn't have just gone green in the end, got us in full place. Alright, that should be good for like, green white checker. Oh yeah, I'm now. As long as you don't wreck or cause anything, then you fine. Somehow, why didn't you take Nick out? My car popped up a long one in the three and he went right on my way. Uh oh. About to go green, stay focused. May the force be with us all. Yep, yep. could do some more depth here in a minute. Hey, the car is off. Green, 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 green. You're in the top ten. I'm just going low. You got to pass. Two to go. Car yeah, inside. Still inside. Hi, are people spinning? Clear. Oh my god, we made it. White flag, last lap. Grunowski is now leading. Inside. Still there. Still there, inside. 28, what are you doing? Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Good boy, bitch. Woo, it worked out, baby, let's go. Oh my god. Yeah, good race, JP. Good race up front, guys. A lot of fucking nice place. 
Good job. Very good job. Very good job. You want Mitch? Man, I was trying to back out of it and not interfere with the lead lap battle, and then like three people just like very wide on it. Coming out of four. We had a good race there too, there, Jeremy. And then, yeah, I, I was like, nice no, right, but if I get off the gas, I'm going to run over too. So, good job, bud. Yeah, it was fun. Wow, wow. I made it without causing anything negative. How about that? <laughs> so Mitch gets the win, his first of the season. Second. Mark holds on for fourth. Gavin, we actually finished out of Nick somehow. Uh, so Gavin will pull away from us. We, uh... Oh! I'm sorry, my commentary is terrible right now. I feel like I just ran like three miles straight sprinting, but uh, we, we'll get P9. We'll gain on Nick a little bit, lose a little bit to Gavin. So that's all that's going to do is make the tight, the race for the lead, for the championship lead a little closer. That's crazy. Hmm. <sighs> All right, so we'll quickly head into the incidents. I feel like I did terrible this race. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just glad we somehow made it. So, yeah, that's right. Nick was on the old tires as well. So, <laughs> uh, 78, 83, just, it does not seem like much, but, I mean, you saw it. You saw how people just absolutely blowing the doors off of our cars, uh, of the top four guys there. I guess my chat fixed itself at some point. That's good. Like, I don't know what was happening up here. Like, it, the messages are now gone, I think. Wait. What is this? I don't know, man. Maybe that's what I clicked. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, man. But, any, anyway, incidents. Nick did see the check, right? <laughs> I'm assuming he did. He's yeah, he's only 2.7 seconds back. Goodness. So, retrospective. Uh, now that I have the ability to think, um, that one didn't bring in a caution. Thankfully, stinks for the 21 though. Retrospective, it was a great race. Um, hello, is Jeremy still here? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, he's I'm on that next to last restart. <laughs> yeah. Um, Oops, well, therefore grumpy. <laughs> I just want to apologize to Jeremy um, for being like, hey, uh, 
I don't know what it took. No tires. So, I don't want to be that way. Just, I don't know what it is. And maybe it's just Rockingham. Maybe I'm just having a bad day today. But <laughs> I was super grumpy. I figured you didn't need to be mean. <laughs> uh, how did, did he finish okay? I'm not sure. I don't think he did. I think he had a rough time. Um, oh, well, too bad. Well, 20th. I mean, on a 34 car field. Coming. Okay, so he's understanding. I appreciate that. He doesn't have to forgive me, so... Oh, uh, all right. David, you still on here? Yes, sir. Who did you have to let uh, uh, go by on that uh, whole deal when I got a penalty? Do you remember? Oh, he's gone. I Dang. Uh, well, I, had. I didn't get to him in time. But what was yeah, no problem to JP. Give him a room. It's all a blur at this point. There were at least two cars but I was just that trying I was to get to go around. Me. So you might remember, like, Jeremy was telling me, like, come up here, come up here, come up here. So I got past Jeremy, and then once I got past Jeremy, it told me to pass whatever car was in front of him. So I passed whatever car was in front of Jeremy. And then after that, all of a sudden it told me to start, like, letting people go by. I don't know. It was just a mess. I didn't know what to do. I certainly wasn't trying to screw anyone over. I was just trying to find the right spot. It was just a mess. Yeah, um, guys, well, talking about uh, like the race, these kind of races where it's super dangerous Ryan, and there's lots of know, cars like real close to one another. I think he was a lap down. I could be wrong. They can really bring out like said, the short track him, racing we kind of thing. That was our first car. I don't know if he had a guy behind him or not. What happened here? I can explain what happened. So that's what Justin. When we were passing him, at, at the point that he came out of pit lane, he was probably, he came, he crossed the pit road line right when me and you, or right before me and you passed him. Um, but everybody in front of you had already passed him. So, of course, because of the way I racing is, he had to line up in front of you. I guess Dustin could have been closer to the wall, but it's not terrible. Seven kind of just doesn't. Yeah, and I mean, you guys are going like, way. you know, 100 miles an hour faster than me. And we basically had from pit exit until turn four to sort it all out. And there just wasn't enough time. I mean, I don't think it was anyone's fault, really. It's just one of those things where we needed one more lap under caution. I mean, if we had had one more lap under caution, we would have got it worked out just fine. It just thinks I feel so bad that you got screwed over, Wallace. This has been a seizure. I hope he's okay. <laughs> he had, I don't know. It really should it's hard to tell from this. Let me see what it looks like from inside the cockpit. I don't know. Wrong place, wrong time, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's just tough. I, yeah. Just two guys came together there. I think Justin was letting him by, so I figured that it, there shouldn't be any more any trouble giving him enough room to make his way through. But while letting him by, just kind of like eased up, and you know, you got the curved strut. Yeah, okay. Well, um, yeah, I didn't get what you got, but um, I got the next, yeah, worst thing, which was to be held back and not be able to get all the way around. That stinks. Anyway, I almost want to just call it a racing incident. Justin could have left more room, but so could have the seven. But uh, when you get two people that could have left a little more room, you end up with one big problem. And that's what happened there. Just perfectly wrong spot for Justin to come together with the seven two, like on the right rear. So that just sucks. Very hard hit for the seven. Ooh, and then 38 comes in pretty late. Not sure what happened there. Yeah, he'd all day to slow down. I'm not sure why he didn't. Yeah, I just, I don't know. It was just an unfortunate deal there, David. I know you didn't mean to mess anybody over. It, I don't know. I really couldn't. Couldn't. And you see that, you can hit the brakes. 
Yeah, because yeah, it's like, when I'm coming off pit road, I'm not, like, in my defense, I wasn't, like, paying attention the moment, like, I exited the pit exactly what cars I was between. I don't know why the 38's moving. Like, Nick's not going to be happy seeing that. Me, you know? Like, I didn't know where it wanted me to be. Like, just wait if you're the 38 there. Like... Yeah, Ryan's coming along, he's seeing him like spin up the tires trying to move, so he's like, okay, like, maybe I don't want to go up top. And then he swerves down Sorry, I have to mute their conversation. I was listening to him for a while, but they have a lot to talk about, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave that for uh, them to have. So, AI should not have been trying to move after the wreck there. Should have let everyone get by. There's, uh, okay, is this, the, this is the restart where Jeremy didn't take tires. It's very kind of him to, uh, accept my apology for being rude about it. I still feel like, you know, if you're not going to take tires there, it's probably best to just go ahead and go to the back, but, or, you know, just accept that it's going to be dangerous, you know? Like, people are going to take you three wide if you're way off the pace. It's just going to be how it happens. So, they have a very scary entry there, Mitch. Or drives it a little bit, maybe. I mean, he probably saw. He was keeping an eye on Jeremy right there. But he did overdrive it. It's just like, you know, you're, if you're this slow here, you, you gotta expect guys to be going around, that's all. I know, I'm a broken record, I don't need to say it anymore, but... You see, like, the 14 have to slam on the brakes for him. He, you know, is trying to go around him. He even kind of backs out a little bit, trying to just be careful. And even backing out, he's going around him faster, but... You, just, you gotta know that's gonna happen every time. I've been having some struggles. Now, what do we have going on? Kyle catches up to him. Maybe didn't know he was going to be so slow. Might not have known that he was on old tires. Uh, just a chain reaction that eventually leads to a crash. I think this is the one that did not bring out a caution, though. We got guys who just have to stop on the track. Never brought out a caution. There's no one behind him at this point. Can I just call the delay green? Nobody, Nobody knows, knows what position they're in. They're just, they really just need to be delayed anyway. Some damaged vehicles so out here. Last week's over. Yeah, you got that right, Spencer. I mean, I had that one good arm race. Friday night, and I just had nothing else. We ran, uh, I think I ran one with you the other day. Basically, Daytona in terms of New Orlando coming up. And I had my setting still on the 87 race, so I didn't have to turn the wheel so much to turn. And it sucked, I couldn't pass anyone. Yeah, we were with each other on uh, Friday, because uh, you, you and uh, JP were in there, and I was in there at HPF. Well, I was unsatisfied, so I switched my wheel settings back, and I was in third place in the mm. top split the next race. And I what happened tried here? to keep up with the top guys, and I burned them up again. David overdrives a little bit, cuts down. I don't think he realizes... Yeah, I, I just, that he's not I, outside I the 3, or the 11. Uh, he probably thinks that he's outside of the 11 right here when he gets that call. Because he's trying to make his way around a lap car. But in reality, it's Tracy that got below him. So he's sitting the 11 and thinking he has room, but he doesn't realize that the 3 is actually the one that's there. That's probably what happened, if I had to guess. Kyle grabs the wall. Yeah, good race, David. Good job on the top 15. I mean, I, I know you feel bad there, but it's just no hard feelings, man. I mean, I'm not bothered by it too much. It's just, it's just how my luck rolls. 
Yeah, it's just one of those eye racing incidents that happens once in a while, but we're all good, man. Oh, Kyle majorly tired exiting the corner. He's never got that thing to turn. Man, that's a pretty decent hit, too. How'd he end up doing? Oh, he had trouble. He had to leave the race early, I think. That might have broken his car. Yeah, I I, 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 I
second. Look right after that in Nashville, so it's kind of more calm side there, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll be the oasis, the oasis we find uh, in the middle of the desert. I think that'll be a nice relief. Yeah, I think I can't speak. it'll be like one yellow at the most, a lot like Homestead, but I don't know. I just, the last couple races, I've just not been good with tires at, at all. all. What's here? Maybe Ryan ran him out of room a little bit. I think he might have thought he might have cleared them. That's tough. I mean, that's close racing near the end of the race. I don't know. That's hard to call. It looks like maybe the 91's a little far down the track. And then when the 91 gets into Mahir, it kind of pushes this car to the right and causes the second half of the incident. So that's just, that's turn two here. Turn two is very difficult to do side by side. It's like I said earlier in the race, it's kind of like a uh, Darlington type corner, the way it tightens up. Um, where did lowercase Ryan end up finishing? He was fourth in the points. 26. That's a rough one. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad Moody's so I'm not upset about the, uh, the other little contact we had. Um, I want to go back and look at that too. I didn't see exactly what ended up happening to him from that. Mm, Wesley hard in the wall. He still did okay though. He came back to third. So that didn't hurt him too bad in a lane. So moving right along. This is the final caution. Oh man. Joe just uh it's turn two. Got it got him again. Got someone again. It's just it tightens up right there. It's got the wall and Bounces off, and the 29 was not able to avoid. That sucks. If that doesn't happen, I think we can probably hold on to the fourth place. I am actually, you know, I'm glad I held on to ninth. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do that. With how bad my tires were compared to everyone else's, there was probably an over 50% chance I got wrecked there. I don't know how you quantify such a thing, but I think... More often than not, I end up crashed in some way, shape, or form after that. There's uh, Chuck. He just lost it, he said on the radio. That's what it's looking like. It's like it happened right there. It just look, looked like he had no grip at all. He had fresh tires right there, so probably cold tires combined with pushing hard, combined with that low grip, low side of the corner there. Ended up with all that. We had other people crashing, too. Nick was into the wall. Because he's on the geriatric tires like I was. And he's three wide. Oh, my gosh. He holds the spot. I had an absolutely horrid restart. I thought I was going to be okay doing first gear so long as... I was gentle in the throttle, but it didn't matter. I was spinning tires up all the way. You see, I was spinning tires even in second gear. You'll see, I tried to be gentle with it. It's just, it was not going at all. But you see, like, we were even with Nick. That's just about as good as you could hope for from tires that old, I think. That makes me feel a little bit better about being so terrible. Like, that's just it was all that could be done. Like he said, sitting ducks. So Nick got in the wall there. I am just trying to hold any line. I think Gavin might be mad at me. <laughs> Let's look how stuck behind me he got. I'm so sorry, Gavin. I didn't have a choice. He had to wait for me. I'm just trying to stay in a straight line. They're almost four wide. I hope I did an okay job given the circumstances. Like, what can I do here? But just get absolutely swarmed. 
Dang, I'm sorry, Gavin. I really am. You lost so many spots from that. Ended up seventh. So this is whenever some things start happening. He gets up and into the wall. Chuck spins. And uh, what happens here? Oh, this... Oh, okay, Joe got into another thing. How is he on the apron? He gets loose? Man, what a strange place to get loose. He might have damage that's making this thing hard to control, too. He ends up down there. Wow, just absolute cluster. Uh... So we got Landon right there. The caution's out, so the 28 is just plowing through people under caution, I guess. He had a rough race last time, too. People were asking questions about his driving. That's a bit not great right there, too. That's crashing two different people. I know... He Moody's probably uh, not very happy after this race, after some of the stuff he had to deal with. So I appreciate him uh, accepting my apology for the earlier incident that kind of just started a snowball for him. So heading to the white flag, they were three wide. Mark gets into the wall, but I mean, <laughs> entering three wide. Everyone's so tight right there. How close did JP get? Give it his best, but not quite. So stressful. Unbelievably stressful racing. There's heading to the checkered. Ryan gets right reared. These guys are just all over the place. Yikes. So he spins across the line. Helicopters it. When he's wrecking after the finish. Mitch pulls it into victory lane. He earned that one. That was a crazy race. Super intense. I'm very lucky to have been able to get a uh, P9. Kept it in the top 10 again. I've gotten a Top 10 every race but one so far, and that was the 14th at Phoenix. So, um, that'll do it for this race. Quick standings update. I'll pull that up just briefly and give you an idea of what I'm seeing out there. So, we know that Gavin gained a little on us, but we might have gained a little bit on Nick. Probably not much, though. It's probably going to be looking pretty similar. Mitch might have gained a lot of ground with his win. We've got Nick up there in first with 442 points. Gavin at 425. So he is now just 17 points away. If I did my math right. Did I do my math right? 35, but yes. I am 15 points behind Gavin. Lost a little bit to him there. And Mitch is now 15 points behind me with his win right here, despite the fact he didn't make one of the races. So, well, don't count him out. He's crawling his way back. And then after Mitch, it's uh, lowercase Ryan, still uh, near the top with a fifth place in the points at 277. So he's uh, over 100 and, uh, 110 points back from Mitch in fourth um, after a rough race here today. So... Um, that'll do it, though, for, what's that, race number six of the K5 Championship Season 1. We're headed to Bristol next time, which also should be a very interesting one. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed, um, even though I was kind of stressed this race and probably not even a very good YouTuber, but, <laughs> um, I hope to see you there. Have a good one.